Why don't we do these things? We all know them. Why don't we do them? Well, they require change. And they say people don't like change. You know, they say people hate change. People are allergic to change. People resist change. People hate change. People don't like change. Do you think that's true? Yes? No? Not sure? All right. Let's try it this way. People love change, don't they? I mean, they just love change. I mean, I come to work every day. People lining up at my office. They say, can we change some stuff? I say, why? They say, just change some stuff. I mean, just for the fun of the change. Let's just change it up a bit. People just love change. Yes or yes? No. I would argue that people do, in fact, love change. I would argue that people do, in fact, love change. They just don't like transition. That's the heart of it. I like to lose myself 10 or 15 pounds. You know, I would love to lose myself 10 or 15 pounds. It's the transition I'm not that fond of. <laughs> so we come here this week. We realize there's going to be change in the industry. We realize there's going to be change in your business. But between you and the change is what? Transition. Transition, and that's what gets people bogged down. I got leaders come to me all the time and say, well, I gave this guy a promotion and he wasn't happy. Why is that? The answer is because he already knows what his job is. He's already good at his job. That's why you're giving him a promotion. And he probably already enjoys his job. That's why he's pretty good at it. You're giving him a job. He doesn't know what it is. He doesn't know what it involves. He doesn't know if he's going to like it. And he doesn't know if he's going to be good at it. There's a lot of uncertainty there. That's the transition. And the CEO or the leader will come back to me and say, but we gave him a big pay raise. So what? When do you give a pay raise? At the beginning of the transition. By the time the transition gets difficult, they've spent the pay raise. They might have even spent the pay raise before they got the pay raise. So when the transition gets difficult, the pay raise isn't going to get them through the transition. So what's going to move them through the transition? Because transition is business in the future. There used to be a time where we could say business involves transition. Oh no, not anymore. Business is transition now. There used to be a time where we'd go through a transition in a business, or we'd go through a transition in an industry, or we'd go through a transition in an, in an organization, and then there'd be like a resting place where we could sort of enjoy the fruits of our success. A sort of a bit of a plateau where we could all pat each other on the back and say, hey, we did good, and let, let's take a breather, and then we'll move on. That doesn't exist anymore in American business. That doesn't exist anymore in global business. Business doesn't involve transition now. Business is transition. You're going to get through this transition, and what's going to come then? Another transition. And people are resistant to transition. And because people make up organizations, Organizations are resistant to transition. Organizations, but the best organizations in our modern culture embrace transition. They are hungry for transition. They go looking for transition. And of course, the icon companies, you know, are just cannibals of their own business and their own products. Just cannibalizing their own products. And of course, the best example of that in our modern culture is, is Apple computers. They bring out an iPod first generation. 12 months later, they bring out a second generation iPod, cannibalizing their own product. 13 and a half months later, they bring out a third generation iPod, cannibalizing their own product again. And nine and a half months after that, they bring out their fourth generation iPod before anyone can get anything else anywhere near the marketplace. A lot of companies would have come up with the first generation iPod, sat back and said, we've got it now. 12 months later, their competition would have been caught up. No. The best companies, they go looking for transition now. They cannibalize their own products. They cannibalize their own services, constantly improving themselves, constantly wanting to become the best version of themselves, a better version of themselves in every experience. That's what's... That's what business is about in the future. The very best business leaders in the next 20 years will be experts in transition. You want to excel in the business culture? 
You want to excel in your organization? You want to add value wherever you go? Begin to study transition.